Marhaba, what's up, yeah, Shabab? Hello and welcome, guys and girls, to a brand new video. In the previous video, we finished our build job. So the build process is done, and now we can move on to the deploy job. So, in order to achieve this, just make a line break, then just press one time the tabulators that you're on the same line like the build job. I don't know if you see it right now on the video, but this is, there's a line going on, and here we just write, um, uh, sorry, not job, deploy. Deploy, as I said, just go to the beginning of the file and one tab, tabulator, and that's it. And we give it a name, deploy project, this is the name. And by the way, you can also grab all the source code from my GitHub repository. So this needs something so our deploy job cannot run before the build job is finished so we can define this with needs so the need is the name of the job it's built this is what is going to be needed so this one so make sure the job is current properly named as built then we say we have a condition we can also set conditions here so we can say github dot event dot event name is equals equals to push. When someone pushes to master, then this deploy job will be triggered. It happens when you merge something. And this runs also on uh, Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu on jammy version so 22.04 and uh, now here we also define steps like in the build job we also define steps here i mean to make it more uh, look alike i will also add here a line break so now our steps going to be um yeah listed out so we have here a step called name and uh, yeah this the first job will be again a slack notification so i just will copy this quickly so okay i finally managed to copy the the first step as you can see we have the steps the first step is the uh, docker uh, notification that the Linode deployment started, crossed fingers, so-called will, inshallah, bil Arabi. And yeah, <clears throat> so next step. So make sure that I'm make sure that I'm properly aligned. The next step is to set up the SSH agent. Give it a name. So set up SSH agent. And uses web factory slash sh dash agent. Now comes the version, it's 0 0.7.0. Okay. And now comes a very important part with SSH minus private minus keys um, colon now comes some variable so dollar sign curly braces curly braces closing curly braces calling closing curly braces and here we again access something from our secrets dot ssh underscore underscore uh, ssh underscore now i have it private underscore key okay what i'm going to do here i have to explain so basically what we are going to do we are now giving we are now setting up a private key so our seek in our secrets github secrets um, um section i will we will add a private key and this means we need to add a public key on our Linode server. As you might remember, we used ED 25519 
as a, our new SSH keys uh, instead of RSA. But we are creating uh, again new ones for the pipeline because I want because of security concerns. I, I want to have a separate uh, SSH key when when I am as a user logging to the server and when the pipeline logs into a server. So I don't want to use the same SSH key. So that's why I'm creating a new one. And we are going to do this right now. So in order to add the secrets, first, let's create a folder here in our home folder. As you can see, list all scripts. I'm going to, let me clear this again, make, uh, make a directory mkdir. Um, we call, I will call this folder, I mean, you should also call it pipeline. Damn it, Europe pipeline dash Linode. Ah, it already exists. Then let's delete this one. It, it is still there from the medium tutorial. Okay. And now we can create a new, <laughs> again, the same one. Nice. Now let's CD into it pipeline and list all scripts nothing is in there that's great and now what we are going to do we are creating a new one so so again ssh minus key generation key gen so minus t ed 255 19 because it's a state of the art uh, and we'll say where to save it in our home directory and say pipeline as you can see and now we have to this is the folder and now we have to give the file a name i just i will be i mean it doesn't matter how we name it just name it i don't know github or so and then minus C for comment, and I will give you provide my email address for recording at aol.com. Say enter now. This is a very, very important part. Very, very important part. Please pay attention here because of the pipeline. What we add here, uh, we are giving here a private key so. This private key will immediately uh, connect to the server. We, it, this, this step here, it cannot provide a passphrase. And as you can see, it asks us for a passphrase. So please don't type anything right now. So I, I repeat myself, please don't type anything. Just press enter and press enter. And now the, the SSH keys are generated. So this is very important if you provide the passphrase the, the the step it cannot provide it cannot uh, um, enter a passphrase to our server that's not currently possible from from this web factory step here um, so that's why we have to provide an empty passphrase that's very important otherwise the whole deployment process will fail and now you can do list all scripts again and now what you see is we have Again, a private key and a public key. And you can also do this, .github. As you can see, begin all sh private key and then do again github, but this, one, this time uh, public pub. As you can see, this is the public key, it's great. And here's my email address. Okay, 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 that's great. I would say, now, first, we take the what we, we take the public key we just copy it you know so if you if you're on mac so there's also a command on, on windows you just have to look it up pb copy and what we are copying is let's get hub dot pub now it's on our in our ram the the public key what we are going to do is now the following change directory i mean i didn't have to do it 
wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Now, what we're going to do is to SSH to our server. Press enter. Now it asks us for a passphrase. Here I have a passphrase, so I have to type it in. Okay, okay, nice. Clear the screen again. Uh, uh, now we have to go to SSH folder, change directory, SSH, list of scripts, and we have to add our public key here in authorized keys. So I will do it with vim. Uh, sudo vim authorized keys. Yes, I have to provide the password. Uh, I have the password to copy. Okay. Great, 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 great. What we're going to do now is we will, while I'm moving the cursor, just making a line break and say here, paste. Ah, uh, god damn it. Okay, no problem. Because I, I copied my password, but no problem. Just open up a new window. Mm, change directory again to our pipeline. Pipeline. Say again. PB copy. Okay, that's it. So. Now here we can say finally paste. Okay, now as you can see, we pasted another public key in our authorized keys files on our uh, server. So now the public key is set. So the only thing that is missing is our private key for the pipeline. Okay. We can close this right now. Colon, W if you write, Q if you quit and exclamation mark for immediately uh, okay and now we can check it also and as you as you can see we have here two public keys inside yeah it's beautiful I would say and now we have to add this the private key to the github secrets so I would just do since I'm here already on this folder I mean, you can already, th that's it for now. Just type exit. So you're locked out. I can close this window. And now I say PB copy, but this time the private key. Okay. So now we have to go to our GitHub page. Uh, there it is. Repositories, select your repository. This is my repository. Go to settings. On the left side, you will see again secrets and variables. Go to actions. New repository secret. Yes. And command V to, to paste it. As you can see, begin OpenSH private key. Now the name needs exactly to be this name SSH underscore private underscore key. Copy this, paste it here, and say add secret. Okay, that's good. Now, as you can see, we have already four secrets in here. And now we can continue to, to add some stuff to our pipeline. So the next thing, okay. So, dot, 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 dot. I think I will just also, I think it's almost the last, the last comment. So I will just copy them and explain to you. So paste and yes. Okay, great. Okay. So I will just explain to you what happens here. So as you, now we finish this step. We added the public key to our server and the private key to our GitHub secrets file. So it can access it later. Now we are de de going to deploy step. And this deploy steps, I mean, we don't have to normally, after name, we use users because we are using some um, already provided actions by GitHub Actions. <laughs> and 
this run command, we can also run some um, basic Linux Unix commands here. So what happens here? We establish an SSH connection. Uh, yeah, as you can see in strict host key checking is set to no. The next thing what we are doing, we specifying the port. And now we have to jump back again to our GitHub secrets because drop that port we don't have there. So just copy drop that port. So drop that port. And now we have to specify our droplet port is 1022. Say add secret. Okay. Now, after providing the port, of course, it asks for the user. That's why we have to provide in GitHub secrets the user, deployment user. Again, new repository secret, user. I hope it's Habibi coding, right? So copy this user. It's the user before the user is before the at the IP address. So how are we coding at secret type? Okay. And now it asks for the host. And the host is after that. So again, copy deployment host. Go to new repository secret. Deployment host. And here, whenever you do the SSH, just copy the IP address. So, okay, looks good. Add secret. Now we have added everything. So far, so good, I would say. And yeah. And yeah, okay, now I can start again to explain. We are establishing an SSH connection. Strict host key checking is set to no. Um, then we have the minus P here, which says for port. As you might remember, we always uh, put the minus P at the end, but we you can also put it in the front. I mean, I can show it to you right now. And da, 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 da. Like when you do this, this will fail. As you can see, no connection. Let's try it again, but this time minus P in front. It asks for the passphrase. Great. And we are locked in. As you can see, you can put the minus P before or after. It doesn't matter. So here it's in before the before username at, at host at the IP address. Then because we are um, entering a new line, that's why it's this backslash here. Then we are we are we are um, using our docker minus compose file. We say docker minus compose pull. It pulls the image. Then we say docker compose up minus d in detached mode. So it runs in the background. It starts the uh, container and it clears um, the memory here if there are some unused containers and so on. This is the docker system prune minus af. Uh, Yes, and then we have a Slack notification where we say, okay, not notified deployment results. And it will say, I mean, hopefully if everything went well, the Linode deployment will be finished. We'll, we will put, show a, a rocket emoji and we say, thanks to God, Alhamdulillah, Bil Arabi. And yeah, that's basically it. I would say, uh, yeah, we have finished the pipeline right now. And in the next step, we can, we have to do, uh, we have to also um, edit the Docker Compose file and we'll continue with that. But the pipeline as as now is finished. So see you in the next video. Ila Shabab.